Good afternoon, one and all. I am Professor Arthi Walsam here to start our lecture two, session two. So we all are gathered here for the impact lecture series two and session two. So for that lecture series, we have our guest today, Dr. Y S Rao sir. I welcome you, sir, for this lecture series. Let me introduce our today's guest. Dr. Y S Rao sir holds a PhD degree from IIT Bombay and has a work experience of more than ten years in the industry. He has been in the teaching profession for over thirty years, of which he has been associated with Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan's Sardar Patel College of Engineering. He has served as the HOD of the department several times, and he is currently the vice principal as well as dean of R&D at Sardar Patel Institute of Technology. He is also the guest faculty for various institutes. Dr. Rao sir has been an expert lecturer at STTP, IST, and TQIP programs of AICT. The lecture topics cover robotics, embedded system, design, real-time systems, DSP applications, and many more. He has also developed IDE systems for short-term training programs. He has been awarded by the IEEE Computer Society, Washington D.C., USA, at the International Design Competition for the project Swift Dog. His research work ranges from electrical load emulation using power electronics convert converters, designing real-time system and operating system development for various applications, signal processing to embedded system, VLSI design, power electronics. Etc. He has submitted seven patents. Also, consultant and corporate trainer companies like Gadia Solar, Siemens Information Systems, for etc. His major research publications are in embedded systems, digital power electronics, and communication system. So, with this introduction, I request our today's speaker. Vyas Rao sir uh, to continue his further session. Over to you, sir. Rao sir. Yeah. Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, uh, is my voice is uh, audible? Yes, sir. Okay, great. You can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. All right. It's uh, it's my pleasure and honor. Uh, maybe a few years back, uh, I've been to your uh, beautiful campus in Solapur. And uh, in between, also every three months, I was traveling via Solapur to my native place. I was just wondering one day I should come to your campus. Yeah, it's an opportunity now today again to interact with you, the faculty and the students. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank you. Uh, it's a <clears throat> it's a journey. I would say journey of uh, seventy five years of independence. Uh, post uh, uh, independence and pre independence, there is a history. Historically, you know, what is what is India? What is the strength of uh, Indians? You know, and what has happened? Uh, during a, a britishers rule and after independence these 75 years what is our achievements and uh, what is that uh, uh, no we need to still lagging or behind uh, some of the de developed nations so it's a i would say it's a journey of uh, uh, i mean post independence and pre independence all right so these are all as madam has introduced some of my associations like uh, SPIT, IIT Bombay, and uh, Tron Technologies is my company. I worked uh, in some consultant, uh, some companies, and I, I recently started some social activities. All right. So, so today's topic is about uh, startup uh, culture, and uh, what is that critical uh, thinking about this startup culture? I am sure you are all must be wondering. Uh, when we started uh, 
this uh, engineering right somewhere uh, somewhere in 1980s because you know till 1983 engineering was a very very rare opportunity uh, almost uh, no very you can count uh, on your fingers how many engineering colleges are there in the entire uh, state right so very very rare institutes like coe pune vijayti or some government institutes like that uh, due to this uh, social movement by uh, dr padmabhushan vasandada patil in 1983 when he was uh, chief minister he has started this idea of uh, starting uh, private engineering colleges now you have seen in this 35 years private engineering colleges have become uh, almost uh, uh, in a reachable right or you, you can also say walkable distance right they are everywhere right so that's one way i would say uh, these are all our achievements uh, in this uh, uh, few years of time now we are uh, last 3 years uh, in a different uh, uh, atmosphere what we called as a covid uh, covid environment uh, all of a sudden things have changed our priorities have changed our education system has changed our industry has changed our jobs has changed complete uh, the entire world economics has changed so we are in a different uh, now i would say environment at least uh, at least i would say your generation your coming uh, generation will be a you all know something called work from home or uh, remotely working culture uh, even teaching and learning is also happening like that i was telling about uh, uh, what has happened uh, before 1983 and uh, after 1983 you have multiple opportunities now right uh, I, every branch uh, of engineering is available at your doorstep you have a choice of choosing your branches even for that matter faculty also uh, a lot of opportunities in interdisciplinary areas so this era what we called as a industry 4.0 because uh, previous generations of industry was uh, limited only to the uh, automation right uh, when uh, uh, everything was uh, uh, mechanical then you uh, know these electrical things came into picture and electronics came into picture uh, so it is that's that's all it's just a small automation even sugar industries paper index, industries or uh, milk dairies a small automation was done by electrical and electronics or mechanical industry but today this generation particularly what we are talking about is uh, uh, artificial intelligence robotics machine learning data analytics right internet of things so these are the topics which are uh, uh, beyond imagination right because you know these are all uh, we talk about smartness i i really don't know what is smartness right i mean if you say uh, your teacher is smart or your friend is smart or you are smart i don't know what is that smartness from where the smartness comes into picture but yes i mean uh, people are talking about everything smart right today's expectations from the industry is that you know if, uh, not only industry even the consumer point of view every system should be smart so think of it that uh, the expectations are uh, uh, i was telling smart devices smart technologies so simple automation doesn't work no more just a automation right automatically happening no it doesn't work it is beyond that so i would say smartness means smartness means the behavior of a human i i believe uh, if any if any living thing is there smart that means only humans are smart that's why we have overruled the entire uh, 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 i mean not only this orbit all the orbits uh, i mean i don't know i mean uh, may we think we are smart but now this covid has proved uh, even the environment is much smarter than us right now they are forcing us to sit inside the house whatever but finally it's okay uh, 
but we have destroyed a lot right we have destroyed the entire uh, society environment animals everything so that means we are smart we are we are we our uh, i mean uh, the amount of uh, knowledge we have uh, that is maybe much more than any living thing has so that may be the reason why even today we are we are killing ourselves right we are doing we are producing the virus right we are killing ourselves okay whatever so the smartness so smartness is the thing which is expected from every customer that means even if a small washing machine you feel the way a human behaves uh, you expect the washing machine also should behave like a human being similarly refrigerators air conditioners two wheelers four wheelers everything every device you expect that they are smart so please remember uh, this is the expectation right how will you bring the smartness into the system is uh, that's okay that's a uh, debatable thing so in conclusion uh, there is no difference between agriculture and uh, education wherever the demand is there you no know, uh, immediately the things will start uh, uh, producing for example if today uh, onion is very expensive you will find uh, next year every farmer will put the onions same thing is happening education if artificial intelligence is in demand then every college is starting ai immediately or if some other branch is in demand it earlier it was in demand every college is starting in it so whatever wherever the demand is there supply will be there but please remember uh, i compared with farming what does it mean it means that today onion is expensive but tomorrow if everybody start growing onion then the onion price will come down to 1 rupee per kg same thing will happens to the ai ml data analytics all these branches right just don't be i mean uh, fool to follow uh, the demand right you also need to look at the supply chain right and also no look at the quality of the supply chain so it may happen that you know uh, there won't be any takers by the time uh, when uh, the supply is much much more than the demand all right so uh, be careful about uh, this uh, uh, demand and supply it happens in product design also today you may think that uh, you are only designing the things you are only implementing the things but the entire world is working on wherever there is a demand is there all right if you have any time any questions please unmute yourself and then uh, i'm i'm happy to have a interactive session all right so uh, Uh, it's a you no know, world without engineers right we cannot imagine uh, a world without engineering so whatever wherever you see whatever you see your surroundings all these things are create creativeness uh, of the engineers right engineering mindset so engineering is all about creativity creativity right for that you don't need to have a degree right i mean if you if you see thousands of uh, uh, our uh, Uh, historical uh, uh, monuments are this uh, uh, i mean any sculptures if you see or by any chance if you be, if the nearest place for you is ajanta elora right such type of places if you see you will you will surprise to see how it is how that kind of engineering is possible thousands of years back right so that itself says that right it is all about the creativeness right creative mindset one should have that so this is all about physics maths right right physics and maths how old is your physics how old is your maths it's not today it is uh, i mean these things are existing these bridges right uh, these uh, big big uh, uh, constructions by rocks right all these they are this uh, water supply management they are not today uh, designs right they are thousands of years old history uh i have some video maybe let's see uh, one uh, video channel has broadcasted just to project that you uh, know what is what what is about our engineering how world is our engineering right let's see uh, all right so this is the video maybe if i have time uh, or you can also uh, in gravitas maybe on vion it's maybe available on youtube also you can go you just have a just a motivational thing that we are not 
talking today about the engineering. Engineering for us is pretty old, thousands of years old uh, is all about engineering. Maybe let's see it. Hello and welcome to Gravitas Plus. I'm Palki Sharma. All right, so this we will see at the end if we get time. Uh, so I will say, uh, if not uh, Britishers uh, era, let's talk about the post-independence. In post-independence, uh, actually education itself is a problem, right? I mean, uh, it's not available. Uh, and for women, it's even more challenging because women is not allowed for uh, going for uh, higher studies, maybe at the most some schooling, that's all, right? Uh, so today we have enough opportunities. By I, I was telling by 1990s, we have reached a stage where uh, every student have a choice of choosing your own uh, degrees, right? I mean, your own branches is available. So today, what is happening in 2000 is all about employability, not about education. Right, it's available. It's every branch is available at your doorstep. What is important today for every student is looking for is that the degrees which are are uh, uh, provided by various educational institutes are they employable? Right, that's what uh, we are looking. So that means it has become a, a student centric uh, education. Right now, uh, the institutes has to worry that. Uh, um, uh, whatever is the in intake I have, whether the candidate is employable or not, we cannot blame the students because student has chosen your institute. So now it is our responsibility how to make the students employable, right? Now the question is, are the degrees are employable, right? Today, right, you are getting a BTEC, BTEC and so and so branch. So if you get a first class a distinction, right, very good scores. Is the degree is employable? Is it enough? If I if I if I have a distinction holder, if I take this degree to some good company, will they give me a job? That's the question. Not only that, not only just a job. Now people are talking about a dream jobs. So what is a dream job, right? I mean, uh, how it does matter? Is it is it is it in terms of some uh, uh, self satisfaction, or is it in terms of salary package? Right? So the expectations are now in a, uh, in a different direction. Now, today's topic is much beyond that. So today we are not talking about either the degree or the employability or the, uh, the dream jobs. What we are talking today is all about entrepreneur. Right? Entrepreneurship means you should reject the job. I do not want to do the job. I, I, I will give the job, right? I want to give the job to some more students. So that kind of a mindset of uh, uh, thing uh, one has to acquire during the degree itself. So now see, I mean, from where we have started, where absolutely there is no education, then we have reached where at least 50% of the women are educated or women are in jobs. Now today, uh, you have multiple opportunities, multiple companies are there, but now, I do not want to have a job. What I want to do is I want to start a company, right? Startup. Startup company means you are the owner, you are the boss, you are the employer, so, right? So you want to give employment to some more people. So this is, I mean, though we are late at least by 25 years, but uh, finally, yes, now we have at least started thinking in this direction. Historically, Right uh, in this uh, thought process of startup companies in India, uh, we, unfortunately, uh, we never had this kind of a mindset. Even our parents says that Are, uh, kuch, uh, business business kuch nahi hai, no? you only go for job because we at Indian India only one or two communities have this mindset of uh, starting a business in south side. We say Marwadis, right? Uh, if you have a Marwadi. By birth, uh, no, we believe that they do only business. That's all. Otherwise, any community or any religion, way, whatever, uh, we always believe that uh, when we are doing education, that means we are, we are job seekers, not the job creators. This is, a, this is the typical problem in India. But however, of course, it's in every country, but things have changed now. Now you look at a small, small countries, uh, a simplest country is Singapore. 
what is the size of singapore singapore size is less than a mumbai mumbai is a mumbai area that is the size of a singapore now today singapore is a developed country singapore uh, is able to give loans to india look at i mean in 20 years of time singapore such a small nation has reached to a level where they are giving loans to india for infrastructure so i mean how this is how this has done how this is possible such a small country in a such a small time how they have done otherwise you all know how japan such a small country is now a trillion dollar economy and so on like that you can look at many of them so it is all about not one or two companies right it is this entire like you you all know how china has progressed how korea has progressed uh, how germany has progressed and so on is all about creative mindset right and this complete environment has to change where everybody is a job creator not a job seeker then whole nation will automatically will progress and will become a trillion dollar industry all right so uh, since uh, uh, many of you are uh, uh, right uh, i mean first time of course naturally every student is doing first time has gone through these stages that is uh, uh, first initially people will say in second year uh, you whatever you do do engineering right i mean this expectation so what is engineering right they may give you some assignments in the laboratories uh, then say do something on your own you have to do some small uh, assignment small mini project right that's expectation so whenever if a faculty give a project where will you look for the projects right i mean uh, you are supposed to finish it in 15 days one month two months time now how to find a problem statement for a, for a mini project or some small uh, assignment so naturally you look for online portals through google search you look for some problem statements so this is a typically almost uh, in every engineering in in, in, the, in the journey of engineering every student does of uh, whenever there is a project need to be implemented you look for a problem statement on google through google you search for some websites when you reach to final year or by any chance if you start uh, uh, mtech or phd then uh, people will say that oh no no the you your project should have some research component so what is research component uh, if 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 your project need to have a research component then where should i look for a problem statement can i search for through google google search right can i find out a problem statement absolutely no then that is engineering whatever you search on the websites various blogs portals these are all engineering projects right or maybe some company websites this is engineering engineering is all about applications but research is something which is not existing a small value addition some delta t that delta t that means that contribution contribution from your side means the thing which is not existing a little bit creative creativity which is not there is research so where will you look at that so so now you cannot look at the google or uh, online uh, resources we say go to i triple e right i mean we are people faculty will say look for i triple e websites why one should look for i triple e is because we believe if somebody has published a paper on a i triple e that means it is his or her research work right if they do a lot of 2 3 years of work and they publish the results on i triple e uh, website that is what we believe so if you are want to do research we also say that why don't you go to i triple e website and look for some problem statements and add a delta t to the existing work so then we automatically accept okay now you have referred i triple e you have added a delta t knowledge to that now it is accepted so this is the second level of uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, problem we we solve in our career but third is today what we are talking is about entrepreneur 
entrepreneur means right it's a confusing really i'm i'm also confused where to look for right should i look for uh, online uh, right I, i want to do business right finally you want to do business so if you want to do business where should i look for the problem statement should i look for the websites various companies websites various companies products should i look for that or i should i look for i triple e elsewhere springer all these research uh, portals so where should i look for that right i want to do some business i want to develop something and i want to sell that product see finally it's a business commercialization money i want to generate money i want to employ people so where should i look for a problem statement there is no answer for that but still uh, uh, my uh, conclusion is that business means confidentiality right there is something confidentiality it's not available on the public domain not iitripli websites not google search or nowhere no articles no blogs there is something confidentiality so that confidentiality is nowhere there it is with me now i want to do the business so how to protect my confidentiality so that nobody will claim that hey my mera pass bhi hai idea like that so there is something called patent okay so you have some idea you have something confidentiality you want to make money out of it then immediately one should patent it right you should, or you, you should look for patents existing patents i hope i am clear to you you might have understand that it's a journey though for you it's a you are first time but otherwise also engineering research entrepreneur have a different ball games right it's not same let's say for example what is pepsi what is coca cola it's a sugar water right pepsi is a sugar water coca cola is a sugar water so if you you can also make it in your house you can mix those ingredients you can make a coke right it's a, i mean uh, we know that formulas but why still you are buying those products right otherwise be, before pepsi coca cola even in india we have thumbs up gold spot limca in they were initially indian companies but no more now they are sold out to pepsi but then when such type of uh, things are available why these americans are selling uh, coca cola pepsi and it's a billion dollar industry so there is something something which is uh, taste uh, or whatever you say that formula or some whatever i i don't know why people are mad behind uh, buying these products but whatever may be the reason there is something which is a business model is there in that so the entire world even afghanistan where there is no food they still uh, selling the pepsi there you will find even films also <laughs> no uh, these american companies are selling pepsi coca cola in those uh, countries so that's the reality right i mean it's a business okay so i was telling that you know this in the 75 years we have reached a stage they were uh, at least in this education science and technologies opportunities point of view we are at par with the most of the developed countries right i mean these are the statistics they says but uh, one problem is there though we are a 130 crore population and every year more than 12 lakh engineers are getting produced but uh, in terms of uh, uh, this uh, research right creativeness right publications uh, we are we are still less right uh, we are around 5% of the total share global share we are only 5% china is 20% america is 16% okay so that is where we need to see that we are still much behind so invention creative creativeness point of view if you see we are at 52 position right worldwide though i was telling 
on an education point of view we are on top right engineering graduates we are on top but in terms of inventions we are at 52nd position so this is a matter of concern that though uh, i mean i was telling you look at some our our historical monuments we have i mean we have enough evidences says that we have that kind of a creative mindset but unfortunately somewhere we have lost during this britishers era and that continued britishers education maybe the creative mindset point of view we are still at much much below than the world uh, wise global ranking okay so uh, now i mean i'm sure in your institute also uh, you must have this kind of a, uh, expectations in the teaching and learning that uh, examination doesn't mean that only remembering and reproducing the things now if any projects or any assignments when you are doing uh, what is expected is that a creativity or evolution analysis right the top the top layers of this bloom's taxonomy is what is expected so this is i was i would say critical thinking critical thinking means i mean whatever you are doing any assignment or uh, any project when you are doing there is something which is uh, critical thinking there some contribution has to come uh, by some creative creative mindset and evaluating the things and analyzing the things so don't follow the shortcut methods the shortcut methods of copying the journals finding the problems on the various websites these are all the shortcut methods but they either give you jobs or you will become a employer uh, in in a long run right uh, it's very very important so in the reality though it's a different but the purpose of today's talk is just to uh, highlight that you know uh, this doesn't help so you have to raise your bar above a uh, third level of a bloom's taxonomy that is you 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 should have everywhere whatever you are doing wherever you are doing you should have the creative creative mindset even if you are doing a job no problem but still uh, just keep it in mind that it's not a re remembering and reproducing the things if you are doing remembering and reproducing then it's like a slave that's what as britishers have done to this entire world they doesn't want any citizen any 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 countryman to think they want only a labor right a cheap labor so this entire education system is a creating the labor labor means you you you, you are not supposed to think you only just you know listen what master is saying so if you if you if if that is how you are doing then life long you are you will become a worker you will never become a owner of a company right so that's why please remember it's very very important to have uh, uh, not just uh, reproducing the thing also some sort of analysis and uh, uh, creating the things at least that mindset okay so uh, i was telling you about uh, this entire education system the pretty old education system was was gurukul gurukul education system where the guru has some skills right or a powerful person then the students used to go to his ashram from wherever or whatever may be the distance it may be they used to travel up to that place and they used to study because they want to acquire that kind of a knowledge but unfortunately like i was telling this entire thing is being destroyed by britishers okay so now that that is continued right today what is happened say for example uh, if you if you if you are living if you if you are from a solapur and uh, you want to learn something and uh, you are not you are not willing to travel from wherever that particular skill set is available 
you think that you know oh now why should i go here and there uh, I, i mean i i am just only get, getting a degree i will get a distinction that's fine that's not fine that's what i'm trying to say if some skill is required say for example then uh, let's say for example nptel nptel is a lectures which is recorded by iit professors so while studying in your institute if you find that there are some doubts or uh, some uh, you want to learn much beyond that then immediately you should go to nptel or some other uh, world class uh, websites and you should learn that so uh, that's the beauty of the technology but don't limit yourself to only just to you know the question paper solving or examination questions and uh, only solving that uh, or using that third grade material photocopied uh, uh, textbooks these are all uh, you know uh, i would say garbage so you are accumulating the garbage in your brains so you should get rid of it i mean uh, where the best of the best knowledge is available you should try to acquire that okay i mean a uh, few days back even government of india is also announced right agnipat agni agnipat yojana so it's a beautiful uh, i mean uh, initiative by government of india and uh, i have seen almost all uh, public and private companies right they came forward saying that if anybody is uh, coming from this uh, agnipat yojana training we are willing to employ that particular student right so that's that's the thing i am saying it's like a gurukul teaching right means see you, there are certain things which are need to be learned and most importantly disciplined manner no casual right no, no no casuality in your lifestyle unless if you have self motivated and if you bring the discipline into you you you, you will never ever able to achieve the kind of uh, goals which you are expecting or the country is expecting so the government of india itself is spending lakhs of rupees to train the 10th standard students right 10th or 12th standard students so that once you are out then uh, you will be better acquired by the best of the best uh, industries so that what does it mean it means industry is also pretty happy if if you are well disciplined person subject and all is okay but most importantly it is all about the ethics and the discipline one has to bring into uh, in your lifestyle okay so i was telling about uh, like i compared with agriculture and the engineering uh, the same thing is happened between science and technology right we have we have completely neglected science and everybody is behind technology once again it is the biggest blunder we have made where without science there is no technology please remember this i am sure most of the now iits or autonomous institutes have started doing this right the science is not only taught at first year they are teaching science at even at the final year you can look at even iits curriculum you will find that they are learning a higher higher semesters science because whatever is the products we are talking these are all the applications of the science so technology is okay technology is the tools technology is will help you for implementation so engineering will help you for implementation that's okay but you should have a very good science background then yes you can develop very fantastic products fantastic applications by using this technology so you should have a very strong science background then i am sure you will you will find some problem statements in the science that will be your product i am sure even in your institute also people stood uh, started talking about national education policy right i mean people started implementing this 
what is nep uh, though it's a, uh, uh, i mean it's a big talk but quickly if i want to say i mean uh, multiple skills a person should have a multiple skills right today if you are joined in telecommunication and if i teach some other subject you have a least interest then you say why are you teaching this subject uh, i mean i joined for uh, so and so branch you are teaching so and so why should i learn this or okay since it is there in the syllabus i will score 40 marks and i clear that that's all this is this is uh, that's what i was telling i mean it's uh, absolutely uh, outdated uh, thought process so here also you can see critical thinking creativity is what an ep is also talking that means if you have joined for example electronics and telecommunication and if you would like to acquire some other skills you your university your institute should be able to support you i love you or if you want to take break from your engineering and you want to do some other degree and come back and continue we should allow it so this is all about i mean the current uh, uh, thought process about the education system because that, those are the expectations from the industry okay so uh, you will surprise to see that the expectations are not only from the students the expectations also from the faculty side uh, if you read this document right uh, national innovation and startup policy 2019 for students and faculty so it's a framework for higher higher education institutes so you will see that you will know you will mhrd on the mhrd web portal if you see that you will surprise to see that even faculty is also supposed to start a company right though you are doing a job you are teaching but you are also supposed to join some company work for one or two years come back and continue your teaching or while teaching itself you are supposed to start a company because see unless if faculty does that right how how they will inculcate this kind of a culture in the students so this kind of culture is there in uh, no us uk australia no they, it's already there in canada and all but uh, yeah i mean that's the reason why now aict is also saying that if we are, even we should bring it even in the student not only students it is also within the faculty okay so uh, I, i i was i started saying that if i want to teach a engineering student then what should be the my qualification is b till 1990s right if i want to teach a b student a teacher's qualification is only b but today right the minimum qualification to teach a student is phd right doctor of philosophy why it is so why, what has happened all of a sudden that you know now you are expecting even the uh, faculty should acquire qualification of a doctor of philosophy in short i mean as the name says philosophy doctor of philosophy right philosophy means right some sort of a you should have some that uh, wisdom right it's not just a i mean why why should why why they should give a doctor of philosophy doctor of philosophy is given to any any you know even arts science commerce law mba any graduates so uh, this is all about wisdom right i mean it's not just a, a specific subject right that the kind of a mindset lifestyle if you acquire right I mean, our culture. If you acquire, then yes, you you are you are a doctor. That's the reason why now they are insisting that even a undergraduate institute also should have this culture, right? Culture of creativity, creative mindset, or lifestyle. Okay, so uh, till date we are talking about only uh, if I if I do very good work. then how how my work is recognized is only going by publications 
but now things are changed now it's not just a publications now what is expected is go beyond that make a product or go for a patent or start a business so while doing while studying itself the expectations are not just a publications right or a degrees right the expectations are you you should have your own products right or patents or you should start your own company i mean i'm not saying expectation but uh, this is the reality if you want to develop right then come out of this slavery britisher slavery system right realize your potential and then you know who knows some of some of you people can become the best of the best uh, uh, product manufacturers generally what we expect from any any products or any research is that well beingness of the country right when I mean, today we have seen the repercussions of the research right or water is polluted air is polluted food is polluted everything is polluted right so but then a good research means you know it is all about uh, the index is something different right outcome of research is about the happiness happiness of your society or healthiest healthiness of your society uh, am i audible madam uh, is that folk fine so oh, yes okay. okay okay so since it is all about startup company startup culture entrepreneurship what happens is you know whenever you 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 think you know that okay let me make a product not a project not a research right you want to make a product then you know the expectations from a customer and the product which you manufacture you design it has to match okay we have seen say for example uh, this is a most popular slide what customer wants is a a jula a jula with a tire hanging to a tree this is what but how it is projected how it is made you can see at a different levels maybe marketing fellow will project something else sales fellow will project something else designer will design something or manufacturing manufacturing stage will be something else or and so on right or a modified uh, thing will be something else and so on so this is a most common problem that what is that customer wants and what is the manufacturer is making right uh, this is the reality versus expectations let's say the easiest uh, uh, way of telling you is that i want to buy a coconut so there are two types of coconuts one is this green one which is for drinking water the other is the brown one which is the not for drinking water to make some chutney or something or you no know, because the inside the fruit is is important in both the cases the customers are different right the left side fruit whenever i buy a, a coconut i expect more water but what will happen after breaking the coconut most of the time i find that it has a less water more fruit so the customer is disappointed similarly look at the right side i want more fruit less water but most of the time i am disappointed after paying the money i realize that it has less fruit and more water so i hope you can understand customer is paying for something right and what is that in return i am getting right if customer is satisfied i am sure we say customer is the god so your product will automatically will successful and he will bring 10 more customers you have seen right for example in some places vada pav is vada pav vada by selling vada pav 
people have become billion uh, people have become uh, at least lakhs of made lakhs of rupees just by selling vada pav or pav bhaji or or bhaji or something something right so because you know once you satisfy the customer that automatically you know you will get the customers they will that's called mouth publicity so we don't need to you know, have a big advertisement and so on. okay so quickly some examples uh, i thought uh, no just to uh, since it is all about the uh, what is happening in the society as far as the startup companies are concerned uber is not an indian company ola is a indian company when uber is already there right uber and ola doesn't have any products they they doesn't have any vehicles of their own so what they have done they have developed the app by using the app or all, all the car owners right they can give their vehicles for on rental basis so uber didn't invest anything they didn't buy any cars car belongs to owner and the, what is that they are doing service whoever wants the vehicle they are taking their some brokerage and connecting the people of the customer versus supplier so now who is the billionaire uber and ola is the billionaire just by providing a service what is that service they have provided is app development but what is interesting here when uber is there ola is also ola came later but still they are able to successful now ola has entered into some other products and so on so this is a typical example that even if you are not a manufacturer but but still by connecting people you can make business similarly when paytm is already there phone pay has started a app phone pay is our student spit student uh, 2000 passed out student now he has started a small company at spit as a startup company now today he is a billionaire right he has started a phone pay okay when such a multinational companies are there but an indian right rahul chari is our student he started phone pay now you see i mean say you will find customers don't worry if if some products are already there it doesn't mean that you cannot manufacture you still find a customer but what i am trying to say is that there should be some uniqueness some problem you have solved so what is that problem you have solved will bring you business you all know patanjali patanjali is not new right ayurveda is existing from thousands of years but when already these britishers have destroyed our ayurvedas and all that stuff right this entire education when they have destroyed right what they have this hindustan liver and all these companies colgate pepsi all these companies these american companies what they have done they have killed our culture our products and they have brought those chemicals right chemical uh, uh, i mean uh, this uh, fertilizers pesticides and all that stuff and they started manufacturing the products but even then so it's very difficult it's a really really challenge to market the ayurveda so what is that patanjali has done this fellow uh, this is a guru right uh, oh, his name i forgot ramdev baba ah ramdev baba so what is that ramdev baba has done ayurveda is available for thousands of years but nobody is buying so what is that he has done nicely while teaching yoga he has he started <laughs> advertising <laughs> all these patanjali products now automatically you know it has picked up do you know today patanjali is competing all these world class products even beauty products he is competing whatever so you just see read the article now it is a thousands of crores worth uh, products this ayurvedic and all is manufacturing 
already indian company like dabur and all is still there but even then this fellow are is able to penetrate into the market and is able to manufacture not only these uh, uh, these uh, um, ayurvedic things but also in soaps oil and etc i'm just giving an example that competition is there but still you are able to find out some issue and solve that and you will find your own customers then about amazon ebay all these companies right none of them have their own products they are connecting manufacturers and customers by using their websites or the apps but now look at who is the richest fellow these companies right this e-commerce company are a billion dollar industry right now not only these companies you will find so many people even in india even in maharashtra so many people are doing this kind of a business through e-commerce if you find any nice product right which is in your village or in your home when you when you people are you know historically manufacturing now it is your job to use the technology and help them to make it a, a, a online or uh, are using e resources where you should be able to do the marketing then i am sure for example sweets or or these uh, uh, pickles or any any anything you no know, anything uh, which is you find some uniqueness the best quality things uh, i mean uh, e commerce will help you out similarly the e retailing you you all know today uh, at least pune mumbai all these cities nobody is uh, buying I, i'm i'm sorry uh, people are preferring uh, to buy even the coconut water online for example i am buying coconut water online because it is available on my door door doorstep every day morning i will get a coconut water so i don't need to go to market and you know bring coconut and all that stuff it's available at my doorstep milk is available at my doorstep anything anything you online through the though they have this uh, uh, supply chain but still through by using technology and they are connecting the villages see why I, today for example if i want to buy a some leaf right just a leaf tulsi i want to buy so i i am buying this uh, online uh, this uh, rains fresh or something something so on but what is important is that i am getting the quality i am getting the quality because these companies have made a tie up with the villagers are growing whatever and then uh, finally customer is getting the best quality product and i am i am willing to i am willing to pay a little bit extra no problem but i am getting what i want so so technology will help you uh, 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 or or bring the customers uh are are connect the people between the suppliers and the customers and the furniture right uh, i'm sure uh, you'll surprised to see ikea uber or or this uh, pepper fray you know uh, and so on people are people are at least or uh, uh, or you will find a good number of customers even for buying the furniture see what customer wants is the best of the best design first nobody wants to use the furniture for several years but if i'm using 10 years 20 years i want the best design i want the best uh, uh, at least you know um, looks wise or whatever cost wise and so on so so you are you you should solve the problem right if you have the skilled people or if you have those kind of a workshop it is all about the connecting the people using the technology and so on and you will surprise to see such a huge uh, 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 workshops has came up in the country even for the furniture manufacturing so some uniqueness if you have i am sure uh, you will find customers sometimes there will be mistakes while doing this say for example Na, uh, tata industry we all know uh, is known for uh, this philanthropy and uh, known for uh, uh, 
even from a needle to uh, the best of the best aircraft engines you know they have all sorts of products but they have miserably failed when they manufactured this nano car right uh, they are unable to sell it even i was uh, I, even i was surprising but then you know I, i was just thinking and recently this slide came uh, that why they have failed they they have accepted that even i was thinking the same lines but the, even ratan tata has accepted that what is the mistake they have done is that when they manufactured the car their advertisement went wrong that is the only mistake they have done what they have advertised saying that nano is a poor man's car right are you no know, lowest income people can buy the car that's what they have advertised then you know uh, it has failed because even if you are a poor fellow if you do not have income but still you do not want to uh, recognized by the society that you are a poor fellow or you do not have money so naturally if you are traveling by a nano that means people will say are garib aadmi ja raha hai do you understand so nobody was buying the car because if you are travel by a nano that means you are a poor fellow so he has accepted that i mean one cannot advertise like that because we also need to understand it is a social status today people are buying the apple phone i am really surprised i, I my blood is boiling why these people are buying these phones only because social status is it that whatever is the apple phone is having the features even the uh, 3000 rupees phone also will provide the same features then why are you spending 90 lakh 90000 1 lakh rupees and the entire our economy entire our money is going to foreign countries where are you spending on these chinese phones 40000 oppo or the and so on all these companies when in india also such a beautiful phones are available vehicles are available people are buying that people are mad fools there is no doubt about it but anyhow this is what my my point here is that social status also makes a impact so there are people who buy these products as a brand as a social status so that is where uh, sometimes we fail isn't it so if you come across such type of a problems what you should do is you should transfer the technology for example godrej or crompton greaves or tatas birlas so so many companies are there indian companies are there if you think that if you if a brand has a value right it is a so- social status then you should approach these companies and transfer the technology then they will pay you royalty and will start manufacturing using their brand then you will also can make money and they will also will happy so you will have a big market i mean that is also a good idea sometimes it is also important to have a brand paying the royalty to the brand okay so uh, this is another example which says that you know i was i was telling you about the perception right the perception matters the way you present the things right sometimes the way you prepare your slides you prepare your your brochure or your advertisement uh, doesn't have that kind of an impact in the market for example when you buy a water right you you first you look at that how the bottle is there how the sticker is there inside the bottle the water may be a drainage water but if you look at the bottle if you look at the sticker you are impressed oh then you will pay 20 rupees same thing is happening coco pepsi and all those drinks right i mean it is just a sugar water but you know some gas is filled some nice packaging is there we are paying hundreds of rupees just for the uh, uh, presentation so presentation is also very very important whenever you design a product make sure finally it is the customer you have to 
uh, impress the customers. So packaging, presentation, manuals, it makes a, it makes a, a equally important. Uh, whatever maybe the product it may be. Uh, recently, Audi uh, has announced that uh, they are going to manufacture these autos for women, right? Women employability. I was wondering why why RD should manufacture because they are the richest uh, uh, car manufacturers. What is interesting here is that it is not that RD is interested in manufacturing, or uh, they are not going to make any profit out of it. The interesting is that recycling. Recycling means when RD is manufacturing a electrical vehicle, uh, cars, they are pretty expensive, but then their battery is also equally important 50 percent of the any vehicle is a battery so what they are going to do as a social responsibility the e-waste reusability such kind of materials also can help or are can help or bringing the products into the market so for example when electrical vehicles comes into picture then what will happen to the existing automobile sector what will happen to diesel engines? What happens to petrol engines? And so on. So one can think of that uh, not necessarily that you have to buy each and every product or every parts of the product. Absolutely no. Sometimes these e-waste or these uh, automobile waste, from there also you can make such a beautiful products and you can make uh, money out of it. And it is a social contribution. Okay, so uh, this is another example of a watch. You all know today, smart smart watches is a very big business, and people are paying like anything thousands of rupees just because it is smart. So, what is smartness here is all about some measurement of blood pressure or measurement of some other parameters or some smart algorithms. So it's a business, so sensors, smart algorithms. It's a really, really very big business in the market. And uh, laboratory, uh, right? Handheld laboratories, right? You all know today in this COVID situation also, right? People prefer to test the COVID, right? This uh, Corona virus is there or not. You don't need to go to a laboratory, right? You can buy that uh, uh, portable instrument. Or for that matter, you know, for example, if you want to test your glucose, blood glucose, you don't need to go to a laboratory, right? The blood glucose meter, uh, that strips are available. You can test it at your uh, house itself. You don't need to go to a hospital to measure your blood pressure. You can measure, it's a small electronic system. So like that, I mean, think of it, there are many, many are pulse oximeter. It's a very important device in this COVID situation, which is showing the uh, uh, this oxygen level. Similarly, contactless temperature measurement and so on. So are the now the very big business that is, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, this uh, contactless, uh, what is that? Uh, the soap, soap uh, dispenser and all that stuff, right? I mean, there are many such kind of products have come up where, uh, I mean, uh, maintaining the distance at the same time, but still are, are still able to provide you a lot of solutions to the people. So it's a billion dollar industry. Believe me, all of a sudden things have changed. Now, healthcare sector itself, has become a very big business. Yeah, I was telling you about the lab on chip. By using the existing smartphones, right, developing a small app, and uh, as you know, it has a many, many sensors inbuilt. Also, it has the ability to co connect it to the, through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or the cloud solutions. There are many investors, many, many people. You don't need to have a big laboratory sitting in your house, 
right a small computer and you can develop a apps or e-commerce i was telling about all uh, sort of a uh, smart algorithms i mean uh, uh, you can you can make wonders you can make miracles the next generation is all about electrical vehicles you you already started seeing that tata mahindra hyundai many companies have started releasing these electrical vehicles can you imagine ic engine right i mean hundreds of years we have used ic engines now we are using a electrical motor or a drive and a battery that itself is going to be a huge market right they are going to be everywhere not only electrical vehicles right i mean the charging stations and this uh, uh, e-commerce right billing billing system and the service centers imagine how many how many uh, uh, i mean logistics are required uh, for this uh, new technologies it itself is a i mean you can think of a lot of uh, solutions for this kind of a emerging technologies battery is i you all know battery is a big culprit right in any electrical vehicle the most important component is the battery today people are using lithium ion right earlier it was a lead acid battery but now today it is a lithium ion but then energy it it's itself is a i mean a, a billion a trillion dollar industry right so unfortunately india doesn't have lithium ion we do not have lithium ion you can see this entire table india is not there in the lithium ion supply countries so we are, we are really need to worry that even if electrical vehicles are going to come but it's not going to benefit india because we do not have lithium ion we do not have petrol diesel still 80% of the petrol diesel we are importing we are fully depend on depends on other countries so it doesn't help so what is the research what is the products is expected is that other than lithium ion can you think of some new vehicles new technologies other than lithium ion or lead acid right for say for example gadkari you know he, he started advertising uh, instead of using lithium ion right this hydrogen 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 vehicles right hydrogen cells and vehicles or hybrid vehicles and so on because we need to worry that when we do not have lithium ion why should we you no know, manufacture lithium ion uh, vehicles is going to be a big problem once again we have to import again do you understand so that's why i was started saying that see if you want to be entrepreneur then you should look at what your country wants first of all can you solve some your own local problems that's okay or some other world problems because finally it is a business who is your customer what is the customer's expectations are you able to solve a, just a small problem then definitely you will get customers or if you do not have a brand value then do the technology transfer there are many many buyers or angel investors are willing to invest in your ideas i mean this is all about the startup company or startup culture so uh, like electrical vehicle the another another challenging problem is charging stations right battery battery charging stations so it is it, it is a need of the hour right it has to be there in every building or on every road and so on so how will you charge the battery you charge the battery from the electrical supply if that is the case then again it's a big problem because how electricity is produced by maximum in india electricity is produced by burning the coal 50% of the electricity is coming by burning the coal so we have a we have a huge problem right we do not have a coal or even if you have a coal the amount of pollution 
right? Carbon dioxide we are producing is huge. It is creating a lot of health problems. So electricity is required to charge the battery. But if the electricity is coming by burning the coal, that means again you are creating a problem. Coal is not there or even if you import the coal by burning the coal, you are producing the pollution. So this is not the solution. What is the best solution? If you are using electrical vehicles, then the electricity should be produced by naturally. Naturally means by using sun or by using wind or by using some sea. Uh, if, you, if you are on a coastal side, then you can use that uh, waves, right? Tide, tide. By using tide the high energy. tide, low tide, the water movement or hydraulic right Hy hydro hydro power stations so nature naturally if you are producing the electricity then this technology is useful otherwise uh, you, it's one and the same again you are importing you are burning you are producing the pollution and and this is the same cycle i hope you can understand that what is the technologies country or the entire world is looking for and specifically as an indian as a citizen of this country what is our societal problems or what are our requirements? We should look at that. Madam, just a five minutes break. Huh? You can, you can.
All right, so should I continue, madam? Hello. 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 Okay, so I am continuing. All right, so <clears throat> while doing, while developing, uh, you have a choice of choosing your own platform. Okay, either it could be software platform, hardware platform. What happens is, you know, it itself is a very big topic of uh, how to choose the right platform. Uh, just a quick example is that people use, for example, hardware, some Raspberry Pi boards, Arduino boards, Eagle boards, Beagle boards, and so on. I, I mean, it's a really debatable topic that uh, how to choose a platform. Similarly, in software point of view also, you will find a lot of IoT, IoT platforms or a lot of websites are available, which domain to be purchased, which platform to be used, which tool to be used, how to start a, you know, when you are starting a business, you should look for uh, freewares or you should look for reliability, upgradability and so on, right? I mean, uh, this is also a very important thing to grow your business. In a long term, uh, how many customers will be there? What are the, the things which they are looking for? Right. Uh, so it's an important aspect while developing a product that which platform you have chosen. Uh, I gave an example of uh, uh, why government of India is looking for green energy, not by burning the coal or by using lithium ion batteries is because India has an abundant solar power. Unfortunately, we are not using because, you know, our Indian scientists, engineers has not contributed much to convert the solar energy into electricity. Still a lot of uh, uh, research is going on. But otherwise, we are blessed with enough abundant solar energy. Today, you see outside temperature is 46 degrees and such a huge, I mean, bright light. But still, we are burning the coal, right? 50% of the electricity is burning the coal, not by using the solar energy. So this is the unfortunate part. That's why I am saying that enough business opportunities are there. Electricity is required 24 by 7. But then... No, there is no great contributions as per our requirements. Okay, so I, when I was uh, working some companies, right, what is called concentrated solar power, right, we have designed some products, but then there will be challenges. Quickly, if I want to tell you about the challenges, look at the size of the dish. Right. If you look at this in Shiridi, you can see these dishes, for example, or in Mount Abu, uh, Tirupati, some places they are installed. If quickly, if you look at these dishes for converting solar energy into some uh, steam or some electricity, the biggest problem is the size. Their size is in uh, no some meters, some 16 meters, 32 meters. And the weight is a two tons, four tons. 
huge amount of metal is used glass mirrors are used so this is the biggest challenge so such type of products requires a different kind of design aspects mechanical aspects civil engineering aspects transportation aspects metallurgical aspects of course and then physics and technology so at least four to five engineering or science uh, expertise required to build those things please remember that i mean that's the these are the challenges physical challenges so say, i mean you look at that size of the dish such a huge dish how to transport say today if you want to transport one dish right how much it will cost you right say for example uh, two days back i have imported some uh, marble or some stones from rajasthan what is the cost of the stone is let's say uh, it is costing around uh, 30 tons is 1 lakh uh, something 1 lakh 50000 30 tons of stone is costing me 1 lakh 50000 to my native place andhra pradesh now what is the that is the material cost what is the transport cost same amount 1 lakh some 30 40000 that means if you are manufacturing one dish okay one dish not i am not talking about hundreds of dishes just one dish one dish requires one one truck one truck if you are using to transport what is the cost of the dish is around 2.5 lakhs and what is the transport 1.5 lakhs that means 70% additional cost is only just for transportation so imagine that's the problem they are excellent that's fine but how to how to supply how to install how to commission the big problem transportation itself is a big problem so i gave you example of furniture manufacturing right such a big cots such a tables chairs though they are manufactured at different parts of the country but how they are supplying to your doorstep what is the secret the secret is you can assemble them you can dismantle them they are modular in nature the amount of space while transporting is much much smaller however when they are installed they may occupy a lot of space but while transport they manufacture in such a way that they occupy less space so that modularity concept unless you bring even in such type of systems they are not cost effective i mean these are all engineering problems i am just telling you i mean you just think of it there is a lot of opportunities and this requires a huge amount of manpower right such a installations requires a huge that means lot of jobs you are going to create i mean they are cost effective no doubt but still there are some problems and the light is free wind is free water uh, this uh, tides uh, that uh, energy is free these are all free that's why we call green but then that energy conversion is a challenging issue so enough so many applications are there by using these things but scaling transportation and all these are the real challenges look at this size of the dish right this is the challenge the mirrors and most importantly they are the mirrors and this has to be assembled manufactured sometimes at the site itself because i told you transportation is a very expensive thing so some parts has to be manufactured at the site okay so uh, just quickly uh, summarize please remember this is all about energy conversion we are converting energy from one form to another form but remember you are not creating the energy or you can destroy the energy only energy is transformed
but while doing this you no know, sometimes we unnecessarily claim that i have, i have you no know, increased the efficiency but please remember you are not increased the efficiency somewhere you have compromised you have sacrificed some of the things that is why you have improved the efficiency okay like say for example in covid people will say uh, so and so drugs are there to treat the covid uh, patients but in reality is that they may be treating the covid back uh, this virus right but then they are damaging some other parts of the organs some you know some some inside uh, we don't know what is uh, getting affected so do i mean this is a real problem right we say that things are improved things are not improved they are improved at the cost of something else so keep it in mind while manufacturing also when you are focusing on something some other things may affect okay so then you know your product may fail so say for example if i provide more features then the cost will improve increase or size may increase power consumption may increase so these are all the design aspects so i mean since the topic is about critical thinking just uh, Uh, these are the, uh, you have to keep it in mind all the aspects while designing the product okay so good good uh, products have some uh, typical characteristics that is the how good it is the cost the how much amount of time it takes for development right and your capability to development and so on say for example if you are not a if you do not have all these skills right do you have the skills from idea to circuit design mounting soldering testing software development app development business you do, nobody has all the skills but then capability right you should have the ability to do all these things connecting the people connecting the technologies make using the technologies and the financial part of it and so on. so technology has a life cycle please remember lifelong you cannot sell the car right ambassador has sold the car only because those days this wto was not there so other countries cannot be cannot sell the cars in our country that's why ambassador sold its car same model for several years but today who is buying the ambassador car who is buying the fiat they are gone they are obsolete because now anybody can sell the vehicle anywhere so it's a competitive world so life long you cannot sell your product it has a one peak time again the sales will fall down so you have to quickly convert your idea into product and release the product and make the profits okay life long you cannot sell your vehicles or products because you know some other, some new features new products will be coming in the market and uh, as you know in this 5 to 10 years of time how many products are get, are obsolete so fast so fast these technologies are getting obsolete even the currency is go people are saying currency is going to be obsolete people are investing on bitcoins and so on. so these are all in short is called disruptive disruptive technologies disruptive means exponential only short period of time the the their growth will be there higher growth but only for a shorter period of time so you should be very careful when you are investing in the disruptive technologies because they are exponential they are not linear their curve is exponential okay i think uh, due to limited time uh, let me conclude saying that right see gaps will be always there people thought of driverless cars and drones and all that stuff but still in reality the gaps are still there right i mean research is still happening so you you still have a scope of improvement at every day even if you have a well well developed product whenever technology changes you have a lot of opportunity to redesign the thing otherwise these problems are there for several years not today but then due to some new technologies new uh, these things right i mean people are coming with new new features we keep on buying the products i mean that's a reality so so don't think of only a project think of as a product 
and uh, see if you, if you if we can commercialize your ideas into a product then you will benefit your institute will benefit your society as a whole your nation will benefit that's the that's the that's the beauty of uh, just just you have to think that whatever you are doing is not a project think it is a product okay that's all from my side thank you so much sir the nice words actually the uh, the presentation uh, am i audible sir? am i no, audible? Yes. the presentation for the startup one of the best i think i have heard and seen and uh, it was really nice uh, having you here sir actually we have our students appearing for the exams now actually where they are running so that's why we have uh, students absent here a lot uh, but we will record this and we will present it as our agpit e learn resource so they will be obviously uh, seeing this in the link in the youtube so i really thank thank you so much you explained so many points actually i had to write everything to summarize your all uh, uh, the presentation you have explained sir how human being is simply a mole size his problems are very less but he uh, though being a very uh, of a small size as compared to the universe he, sim he simply thinks that he is a very smart person so that you explained so nicely also you explained about this uh, thinking like people think uh, very a common everybody thinks the same problem and solution for this uh, problem in a similar manner but you just said that how onions demand and the sales they they, they are the same as the data science world they are still thinking about people think about doing jobs in it and all those things so someday it is going to become obsolete so they have to think something creative you also explained about how engineering and science and technology they are so old and we as the indians like had a lot uh, taught of these things in the gurukuls and all as you already are much much more inclined to this heritage concept so even i am a part of that so i really admire that uh, thinking is happening in this direction and we as our teachers and uh, as as uh, like can say guiders and mentors we should make our students also as uh, your thinking the way we also should think and bring our students to that level like really find some problem solution to the society not going abroad and settling and getting a big package and uh, it was easy for us also <laughs> as uh, it was that easy for you also but still we have been there in the country be with the country and try to solve the problems so even they should follow the same steps and be with the country and uh, nowadays things have really changed and as india is going for the make in india uh, all those hackathons are there there is a great scope actually for getting into the like critical idea thinking we can say idea thinking whatever any localite can find his way towards Uh, parliament and get some uh, award we see so many people is getting awards someone is planting a tree somebody is doing some uh, adivasi type paintings and all we see so many examples so everybody is having a scope out so students now have a different uh, scenario you also mentioned about the traditional method of engineering assignments and tutorials a small project and engineering is done so no longer we have to do all these things we have to be something beyond this and this has to be done and actually we have started the work but it will be seen best after some 10 years or 15 years or something like that it has started the journey has started as you have rightly said and the zeal of explanation like it was so nice sir like we will really welcome you any other time when a uh, full fledge uh, things are happening with us yes and i thank our principal sir uh, our vice principal sir uh, our campus director chogli sir our management dr Uh, sir ese uh, honorable uh, honorable uh, ese patil sir they all are so supportive like uh, they welcome us to take any step towards the guidance to the students so uh, we welcome you any time in the future thank you so much for your time i actually didn't even have the time to make the ppt but still you have given your best like sir you were something was very much new to us also to hear of the things so we also came to know that some things whatever we are thinking is happening similarly somewhere else also so we are on the right track we will keep with you whenever you help uh, ask us some uh, like uh, some students if they are going to go for support from your side then we will also allow our students to come uh, to you and just just get the guidance from you as a mentor thank you so much thank you one okay.
uh, dear participants, this has come to the end of the impact lecture series for the session one. Uh, we'll have another session of impact lectures in uh, around like on 5th July 2022. So I'll welcome you all in the next session for that for time being. We'll end up our session here. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay.